family farmers in Peru's Andean highlands. Around 20 million people live in these mountains across Latin America. With peaks reaching up to 4,200 meters above sea level, farming here has always been a struggle against the elements. The terrain covers more than 2 million square kilometers. It's here that FAO's Andean Seeds project is in place, setting out to help some 5,000 family farmers across Peru, as well as in neighboring Bolivia and Ecuador. The project helps cultivate a variety of crops, including beans and corn maize. Quinoa is one of the main foodstuffs. Potato farming is also prominent. There are an estimated 3,000 types of the vegetable in Peru alone, and as many as 5,000 in the wider Andean region. Seeds Project places women at the forefront to increase access to quality seeds and boost production. Women already perform a large amount of the family farm work, including planting, cultivating and harvesting. They do the selection, storage, food processing and even raise the livestock. Later on in the process, they gather food products and sell them at the local market. Their role in nurturing and preserving food security is vital. Through this program, foods with long-standing value in indigenous agriculture are tested and adapted to generate higher quality seeds. Family field schools help farmers to learn about their crops and the things that affect them. They learn how to farm better by observing, analyzing and trying out new ideas on their own fields. The field schools are a way for farming communities to improve their decision making and stimulate local innovation for sustainable agriculture. The emphasis is on empowering farmers to implement their own decisions in their own fields. In the Peruvian highlands, the project is helping preserve Andean heritage. My name is Vilma Choquecota Choquecota. I am part of the Association of Amprae. We are all women working here. There are 14 of us. We have been working in this workshop for three years. It is going really well. Our clients can be neighbors, municipalities, and institutions. They come and request our products. We sell our seeds to them. We promote our work by putting advertisements in local media and giving our business cards out. The ordinary seeds do not produce very much and they have smaller panicles. It hasn't always been easy. It has been a bit difficult to convince people, including our husbands, that we could approach organizations because we are all women. But we have shown we can do it. We have worked, we have learned, and we have done this for our children too. 